It is remarkable that apart from the cost intensity of the roads and bridges, the Elechi administration has not neglected to give appropriate attention to the development of other sectors of the state's socio-political economy. In this regard, in pursuit of the program of professionalizing the civil service and deepening the operational capacity of the state's workforce, the administration embarked on the construction of an ultra-modern staff development center in Abakaliki. The center, which has already reached an advanced stage of completion, will cater for the training needs of all cadres of the workforce in an environment that is both conducive and inspiring. The head of service, Mr. Francis Alu, insists that when completed, the center will be second to none throughout the Federation. Other high-voltage institutional projects embarked upon by the present administration include the rapidly progressing new Deputy Governor's Lodge and the new Chief Judge's Quarters, among others. Convinced that the abandonment of any project started by his predecessor is a wanton waste of public fund, Governor Lechi has remained steadfast to his inaugural promise of completing the projects inherited from the previous administration. To this end, apart from the continuation of the inherited road projects, the administration has sustained the funding of such projects as the International Trade Center, the International Conference Center, and the Ebony Five Star Hotel, all of which are rapidly nearing completion. In the fullness of time, when the comprehensive history of Ebony State will be written, the recovery of 948.7 hectares of the former army land in Abakliki by the Eleche administration will occupy a copious space in the annals of the state. With the tenacity of a soldier and the tact of a diplomat, the chief Martin Eleche accomplished an unprecedented land exchange program with the Nigerian army, which has freed a new geographical space for a structured development of the capital city. Baptized Ochudut City, the new land space promises to be a sprawling wonderland in terms of modern facilities, planned development, and environmental harmony. On Thursday, the 30th of March 2009, the LHG administration took another giant step towards concretizing the vision of the model city when a convocation of Ebony stakeholders gathered to lay the foundation stone for the construction of an ultra-modern secretariat complex at the new city, awarded to Malum Nigeria Limited at the cost of 11.2 billion naira. The grandeur of the project's conception is only matched by Governor Elechi's enthusiasm to realize it. Good things don't come easy. Neither the decision nor the effort to start this duty is an easy one. And that was why the State Executive Council decided that if we were to build a new State Secretariat, it must rank as the best in Nigeria. In pursuit of the goal of environmental sanity, the administration succeeded in enforcing the relocation of stone crushers from Abakliki Metropolis. This follows the provision of access roads, water, and electricity supply, with two 500 kVA generators, security posts, and other modern amenities at the new industrial estate in Eza Umagara. The administration accomplished this in less than two years though previous administrations could not achieve that feat in the previous 10 years. We are very lucky in the United States. He has good intention. The Reverend Monk said he's praying for him because he has good intention for the state. While it must be acknowledged that it is extremely difficult to comprehensively itemize all the achievements already recorded by the LHA administration in the past two years due to their scope and diversity, it should be pointed out that some of these achievements are intangible, though not less important. In this regard, the crusade for attitudinal change has been elevated to a philosophy of governance. To underscore its importance, the state government organized a two-day colloquium from the 28th to the 29th of September 2008 
to address various aspects of the crusade. Already, the concept of Ochudo time, which is a metaphor for timeliness, has deeply permeated the consciousness of Ebony people, while the issues of integrity in service, a positive work ethics, environmental cleanliness, cultural reawakening for moral reconstruction, and zero tolerance for violence are increasingly gaining ground as indices of social relations.